Okay, so we are processing the deer today. And um, these pieces right in here um, and over there are the back straps. That is the best part. And then that's the neck. And what's that piece over there? That's the hip. That's the hip. And what are you working on there? Yeah, the flank. Part of the flank. Yeah. Part of the flank. Just trying to so, get some of that fat off. And Jeff is taking the fat off because it's not as tasty with the fat on it, right? Well, uh, it just becomes not so tasty when we're making burger because this will all be burger here. Gotcha. And it gets too fatty flavored. Yeah. He's a whiz with a knife. I don't plan on ever really pissing him off because he could probably kill you and make you disappear. And He has pigs. Did I mention he has pigs that he feeds meat to? <laughs> and chickens. But the pigs will do a person in. <laughs> I don't know if chickens would take care of a person. <laughs> they, they slipped. <laughs> oh, so somebody told me, this is a question, somebody told me don't feed pigs meat because then if you fall in the pig pen they'll attack you because they have a taste for blood. Ours is all cooked. They'd have to cook me first. So that's what I said is he cooks the meat before he gives it to the pigs. Do you think that's a thing though? If you gave bloody raw meat to pigs they would... They'd eat you regardless. It doesn't matter. You know if you pass out and you lay there long enough they're they're going to eat you. It doesn't matter if you <laughs> ever fed them red meat or not. You know? it, it works for humans. What's that? Humans adapt to eating red meat. Well, yeah. Who was the first human to figure out you could get milk from cows? Who figured that one out? Okay, now that one's, uh, that one's a little weird. Yeah, I will. Yeah, we did that one. Some drunk guy laying on the ground going, <laughs> hey, what's this? I'm thirsty. <laughs> Man, she's got four of them. <laughs> <laughs> Date night. <laughs> All right. Chopping up meat for the grinder. Angie's getting the grinder ready. This is a KitchenAid grinder? Mm -hmm. Works pretty good? Yep. All right. We'll see this in action in a little bit here. I used to, like, not want to cook meat for Danny because I'm like, ugh, I don't want to cut touch it. Yeah. Don't want to touch it. I don't want to mess with it. Changed person up here in the Northwoods. You getting separate. And we're live again. And we're not drinking yet because we have three people playing with sharp objects. <laughs> and I only have two hands for bandages. <laughs> this is all going to the chicken and the pig. Yep, chicken and pig with the little scary face mask there. Yeah. The hip. It's hip. hip to be square. If it was a cow, you could wear it like a crown, right, Angie? Yep. Mm -hmm. You're going to dig that when we get that out. That'd be pretty cool. God, where do you... Oh, here, this has got some bloody parts on it. You probably this don't want that be part. Brown. What is that? Oh, that's the part that Angie threw to you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Good. <laughs> what is it? What am I um, working on here, Jeff? What that's part probably is this? a flank. That's part of the flank. flank uh, yeah, that's on the side. It's kind of cold. So, Jeff and I are dual processing our shoulders. <laughs> yeah, they're dueling. He got his leg off before I did. Yeah. Oh, they're not a leg. Oh, there it's you a go. Leg. Well, yeah, he's And Angie is grinding. Yeah, we got that grinder. Try I hold the camera that? just right, the light blocks your hair. See, it's perfect. Now you're just glowing. <laughs> She's beautiful anyway. Shut up. There's the deer burgers. And these are the tenderloin and back straps. Vacuum sealed. This is all just getting ground? Yep. Some of that, I mean, we can do it all in the There's going to be a big tendon in there. Oh, I think we're done grinding. Um, now. So. Once you get down to about here, there's no point. I just cut that off and get rid of it out because that tendon is super big. Yep. And this is all from one dough <laughs> that Jeff got with his next to last bullet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I heard you were down. Yep. Yeah. Mm. 
Oh, oh yeah. yeah. There we go. Working on the shoulders. Just located. <laughs> Jeff says pretty much done. I gotta oh, let you go. Jamie's falling behind over here. You hit that right on spot, so I mean, that's right. Oh, that was a kick-ass cut, baby. Oh man, just don't be cutting him with that knife. <laughs> we need him. Last thing you want to do is cut your medic. Woo! Almost Woo! There we go. Okay, I'm losing the game. Someone's not so bad. That's the, you can probably just leave this on the phone. Don't worry about that. That's just what are you going to do with that bone? It's going to be pig feet anyway. Because we okay. could cook that down for the pig. So. Pig feed right here. You can move on to this piece and all you're doing is you just cut right up the bone here. Cut the bone right here. You know, run the blade right against it. And you'll cut off those big pieces of meat. And then just go around and kind of trim the right around the edges of it. Round and round she goes. So serious. Who'd have thought this is what I'd be doing? Listen to classical music while you're butchering a deer. Right. Very zen like. Mm hmm. It's a good soundtrack for the video, though. Yeah, we don't even have to add it in. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas time here. Yeah. That's going to be a Christmas roast. Jamie wore a red shirt, so the blood splatter doesn't show. <laughs> Actually, it's because this shirt was the dirtiest. I never could figure out why butchers wear white. It's like, really? So I can see how hard they work that yeah, day. Yeah, painters wear white, so it looks like they did something. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> Same concept. And that's for my buddy Ron Rice. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing here is we're cleaning up the heart here. It's going to go into some kind of dish that Angie's going to make. So we're taking off all this... Uh, all the fat that wraps around the top part of the heart. So, some of you, this actually might be what your heart looks like. You know, pretty crappy, pretty fatty. That's mine. So, <laughs> some might be more, some might be less. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we're looking at. We're going to take a little bit of this top part off because this is where you get the tricuspid valves. And you can see all that stuff right in here. You can see some of this. Here's a nice valve. What always uh, supposed to look like doesn't always look like what you thought it was going to look like. So, but that's what they are. So, <laughs> and somebody's throwing Lots garlic. Throw, somebody's throwing garlic on the floor here. So oh, is it garlic? Losing my train of thought. We're gonna clean all this stuff up, and then uh, it'll be ready for uh, slicing and dicing into smaller pieces, and then having heart with eggs for breakfast. Mm. Heartbreak breakfast. <laughs> So you got a micro on that? Mm-hmm. They send me these uh, small pieces that you find on the inside of the heart. Ooh, wow. Yeah, see, I knew that you wouldn't... That's part of the valve that's... Part that pulls oh, on the sides, in. yeah. So you'll see all those little pieces in there. That's the one that clogged cut that out. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. right through the center. So, yeah, here's some more of that stuff. So I'll have to... That is... Oh, out. look, it looks like a heart right there. Little heart, heart, heart. <laughs> If I was just going to cook this normally, I wouldn't do all this extra part here, but... What do you mean just, normally? Normally I wouldn't... I mean, I'd just cut a little bit of this it's valve stuff around heart. here, but... It's a heart! <laughs> but you take the inside part, too, of the, um... The atriums and the... The tubes? Yeah, the atria and the uh, ventricles here. So the inside lining of this stuff is different. Oh, it's a different, gotcha. Uh, tissue. Texture. Yeah. I'll cut that stuff off too, so it's just straight, just straight muscle. muscle meat, yeah. Speaking of muscle, I got a lot more to go here. Yeah, I got a lot more to go here. And over here, Angie's playing with garlics. It's, it's for pizza right. topping yeah. for dinner. Yeah. All kinds of goodies. Yeah. 
and go in for for that cut first. Right down that. Yeah, yep, and just you can feel you can feel the feel the you're not on it yet. You gotta get right into it. Otherwise you're wasting. I can feel it. Because you're holding the knife straight. There. Whoops. See that? Straight. You're you're cutting at angles. You want it like that? Yep, just straight like that. Bring it all the way through. Yep, and cut right down there. And then the same thing on the right there. Yeah, but that's where the end of the um Ball. The no, I should hit another melon up here. You said? Yeah, actually, we can take all this stuff off. <laughs> That's the top of So you got this side and this side. So it's on both sides. And you just bring it all the way down to here. Well, that's what I was trying to do before, and you said cut straight. <laughs> that's not straight. See the angle of your blade? Straight is like 90 degrees, standing up. I guess because it's frozen. But it, it feels there's a bone right there. Well, yeah, the bone is under there. Well, oh, they, already, they threw that scapula away. But that's that's what you're doing. So you're running right down this main piece. So you do the same thing right here. Just get in there. See, it's straight, 90 yeah. degrees. <laughs> That looks great. Yeah, it's no tradition. You finish that all the way down to here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can keep working on your thing. Well, oh, I gotta keep watching now. You know, sort of worry about you. Well, I'm hitting something. That's the bone. You're running against the bone. So I'm not going all the way through. No, you're not going all the way through. You're running no, into that's the bone. What I, was to... I thought this was the bone right here. That that's part of it. That's a prominence, prominence. That's uh, what it's called. Yeah, that's what we're so talking. now when you're here, this is there. So right. So now when you're here, you need a longer blade, like this one. Like this one better because it bends. You oh. take it and you just put it aside, right? And it bends and it stays right against. Like fillet it. Yep, exactly. And that's all you're doing. Can you do it with that one or you want this one? Which one did you cut your finger with? This one. Okay, good. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell because it's frozen still, but... Yeah, but I mean, you can get right in there and then... What do you think, baby? That's nice. Not too bad. So we got 12 pounds of ground deer meat and a big roast and also two packets of backstraps and tenderloins. Um, and then underneath that we've got our chickens and our pig. He is... Um, still awaiting the arrival of, I think, about 20 pounds of bacon and a big ham. So we are going to have plenty of food for the winter. Feels good.